Hi everyone, I'm Yolanda Ramos and I'd like to share with you my mini album that I've just made. For this album, the collection that I used is Aria's Garden from Bow Bunny. It's just a stunning collection and I just love the colors. I used the 12 by 12 as well as the 6 by 6. I also used lots of ephemera and chipboard. It's a really stunning collection. As you can see, there's not much left. This album is nine and a half by seven and a half and the spine is three inches. It has six pages, including the front and back covers and can hold more or less 80 photographs. So there's lots of room. Right, let me show you the cover. Again, this is the ephemera from the collection. It has a wheelbarrow and I've used stickles on there. Flowers from the collection and just from my stash that I've blinged up. This is the stickles that I've used on, on, the, on the album. The diamond and I've used the gold as well. Also throughout this collection, the die cuts I've used are the Spellbinders, the Venice Lace, and the Die Delights. Okay, for this album, I've left this frame open so you can slide in your 4x6 photograph. You'll have to trim it, and then you can glue it down. Okay. This is the spine. And on here it says, life is a journey, enjoy it. And the back is just plain. So, let's get to the exciting part now. Let's open it up. You can see the closure is a satin ribbon. And let's open that to the first page. On the first page you've got um, little tags for journaling or you can... Put a photograph on the back there and right on the front. I love my little straws and the flowers. And this opens up. You can see the die cut there, which I put the stickles on. It has a Velcro closure. And you can put smaller photographs in here. There are also two photo mats. Again, you can journal here. And that's a 5 by 7 four by seven. This says let's do something wonderful. You open it and you can put a four by six on the back and of course you can also put another four by six over here. Right, let's just put these back. The flowers are all blinged out with the stickles. Now we come to page two. Again room for a photograph here. You can journal there. This opens. Let me pull it down. As you can see, opens there. Room for photograph. There's two little tags here. On the top one, this is a tuck spot for your photograph. And that opens. And then you've got more tuck spots there to slide your photograph in. Same thing for the bottom one. Tuck spots again for 4x6. And then this also opens out another tuck spot to put your photograph and some photo mats. And again, you, put, you can also put a big uh, 5x7 there and 4x6s here. Let's close that up. That one. And this is magnetized. Right. The next page, again, I just love this paper with its silver and pink um, roses. And here's some ephemera I put on the top. I don't know if you can see. Let me bring it a bit closer. The chipboard says masterpiece. It's really beautiful. Really beautiful, stunning collection. The closure is a ribbon. Let me put it in. Bring it up. There we go. This opens. Little tuck spot for a 5x7 there. Make sure you can see this. This is a pocket, and this is all beautiful and blinged out. Two photo mats there. That, that one says memory, and this is just blank, so you can write there. Whoever or whatever it is. 
Again, I've used beautiful rose trim and lace here. This is a tuck spot. You can put photographs on the back or you can journal. This is a waterfall. And you open it, it says love there. Four by sixes. Beautiful four by six there. So that takes a lot of photographs. And that closes. I'm not going to close up the ribbon now. The next page, again, it's closure with a ribbon. We've got chipboard there with some bling on it. And you can tuck your photograph in there. This opens. Here's a photo mat where you can put small photographs. Or you can also just slide your photograph in here, your 4 by 6 if you want as well. Oh yeah, this thing is, postcard is very old. Okay, and you can put a photograph on the back and journal on the front. This is a chipboard rose. This is a swing tab that opens, it says joy. Again, tuck spot for a photograph. This is a pocket and there you've got two small photo mats for, for photographs. And you can journal up there as well. Close that and then it opens outwards. Okay, this is a waterfall, just again chipboard with flowers. There we go, and you can put a little photograph on the back of that as well. And here's your waterfall. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve photographs. Again, four by six. Okay. You can see this, yes. Again, there's a little pocket here. He has a tag for journaling. Another tag for journaling. Again, a little photograph on the back. Four by six mat. Just, it's a little bit smaller than a four by six. And here's a five by seven. Let's put that in and lots of blings. The die cut from Spellbinders. Let's put that there. And there, bling, and let's close that. I'm not going to do the ribbon now. The next page. Again, flowers. This is chipboard. There's my Spellbinders die cut. A little bit of bling. This opens. Space for a 4x6. little photo mat. And space for a big picture or a montage. Next page. You can put a picture here. This is a chipboard. I've lifted it up slightly to give it dimension. And here's a beautiful lace, uh, rose trim and lace. This opens that way. And then it opens that way. And you've got your pocket in the middle, chipboard. This one is like a little booklet that you open for photographs and your 5x7 mat. Again, you can also put a photograph there. Let's put that back in and close it again. Magnetized close, closure. The next page also, you open it up for photographs. Over on this one is a tuck spot. So you can just slide your photograph in there and it opens out. So again, your photograph, big photograph here or a little one. And this one also opens up there we go and you've got uh, pockets with two photo mats two little ones you can put two photographs in there and it says my happiness and again space for journaling over there on the bottom two photo mats five by seven and a smaller photograph and these just going again you can put a photograph over here as well so you can put lots lots and lots of space and this is beautiful gold foil paper that I used from another collection from another pad and this page has a gorgeous frame on it with roses that I've also blinged out with stickles the, the diamond one and I've left this open to so the photograph again a four by six you just slide it in 
and then glue it down. And it's got the gorgeous rose trim on the front. This opens out, photograph here, you can put another one there. And I just love this chair with the roses again. So that, that, and then this one also opens up. There we go. Space for journaling and space for a 4x6. And of course, lots of room here for photographs. Again, magnetized clo closure, and that says enjoy. This one says dream. Let's Open it up. Oops, the next one again. Magnetized closure. Tuck spot here for a 5x7. This opens here. So you've got more 5x7s. You can put a big 5x7 here and a 4x6 there. Same on this side. Again, I just love these roses. Here's another space 5x7 or a 4x6. This is a pocket. Here's some photo mats. It says dream and wonder. So there's lots of room. So we close that one now. And we come to the last page. Again, I've left this as a tuck spot. So you can put 4x6 or a nice big photograph or small ones, whatever you want. This opens out. More space. This is a pocket. And here's some photo mats. There's three using the gold foil. I love this gold foil. 5x7, 4x6. There we go. You can put your photographs in there. So this album is available on my Etsy shop. And I'll put the link for it below. And um, thank you very much for watching my video. And if you like it, there's a subscribe button. Thank you very much.